Hello everybody, today is January 10th. Okay, question came in from somebody via my news uh, email. Uh, question was, or series of questions. I learn J4X3 on video in YouTube, then I find your video. I enjoy your explain in J4X3. Obviously, English is secondary here. And I know you trade Dukas Copy Swiss. I ask you please if okay. Okay, here's the questions. What's your opinion on Dukas Copy Europe, which is the Estonian, uh, as he says here, because I don't have any deposit, $5,000, and I just say deposit is $1,000. So if he's a $5,000, you can be um, supposedly fall into the Dukas Copy Switzerland and then be protected under the Swiss government with the Swiss regulation uh, in Dukas Copy Switzerland in uh, a Swiss account. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. If uh, I've heard different rumors that Dukas Copy is trying to um, not allow um, anybody with even larger accounts get fall under the Swiss uh, system. Now, I can't verify that, but that's some of the rumors from somebody I trust that's fairly well um, uh, involved with Dukas Copy. Now, as opposed to Dukas Copy Europe, um, if you're starting out uh, with any form of Forex trading, I would just go with the minimum. The minimum, I believe, is $100. Uh, you won't be able to trade a lot, but maybe you could do 200 300 400 500 I'll give you the minimum margin requirements to fulfill some of those test trades. Do what I'm doing. Trade on the minimum trades of one unit or 1,000. Um, and basically trade on very small amounts to protect your account in case you start with major losses or in my case you start with um, the demo account to prove that your strategy is making money consistently so um, that is something I would strongly recommend which I'm currently doing and doing it in a smarter way to protect my real money um, as for Estonia or Dukas Copy Europe I can't say uh, the reason I say is to put minimum amounts in because if Dukas Copy does, let's say, go bankrupt, they will, um, you will lose your money. Um, at best, you might get pennies on the dollar once all the lawsuits are dealt with and whatnot. So if you are going to go through the Dukas Copy Europe out of Estonia, um, your best bet is to just put in the amounts that you can afford to lose um, and uh, go from there. And uh, um, usually it's obviously a mineral amount. Now, what's your opinion, J4X3? Is it better than MetaTrader 4? Right, sir, and why? Um, Monday night at my um, meetup locally here in Toronto, we had this discussion and um, never thought about it. But as far as I know, I, and I need to verify this, is that MetaTrader is single-threaded, uh, whereas J4X is Java, and it's multi-threaded. So in my case, I'm able to watch 40... Uh, instruments at once and I'm pushing and probably gonna push it towards probably double it in reality just me need more memory uh, J Forex is, seems to be more stable as long as it has the available memory and what I just learned on the heap space for the Java virtual machine you're you're pretty well okay MetaTrader also has um, a proprietary language um, it, it's very limiting on um, your a number of options uh, I can't say for sure but I've heard that there's back doors in the software um, so who knows what goes on with that concept as well I just find JForex is a little faster than MetaTrader and just handles more volume now do you use a VPS server for JForex 3 uh, no we just talked about that if you go to my blog um, and look for the topic of JForex um, what you'll find here uh, are some tips uh, here as I said about the JVM heap size but I do also know I did put up some courses or uh, a posting yesterday on it um, 64 bit J, J, uh, Forex tips with Bitcoin crypto addition so I want you to understand that there's some new really good tips from the same person I just mentioned about using um, J4X using the, the uh, uh, an installable 
version without the need to download anything uh, through uh, uh, JNLP. All the details are in here, um, so you can just check that out. The article is called 64-bit version Duca's copy, Forex tips with Bitcoin crypto edition. And it looks like, as I said, Duca's copy has just added um, Bitcoin with the US dollar, no different than um, interactive brokers, which is a good deal. Um, do I use the VPS service server? No, I right now just load everything locally. Um, you can load on a VPS server uh, if you want. Um, looks like they've built the software in a way to enable that. But again, when you are working with this option, be forewarned that you will need lots of RAM. Um, I'm hearing, I have a 14 gig system, um, 32 gig of RAM. Uh, or all the way up to 64 gig, depending upon, again, the number of instruments you're watching. More instruments, instruments, the more opportunity you have for yourself. So do consider that. Uh, if the Internet is weak in your country, um, it is an option. But uh, as far as I know, a lot of these VPS servers uh, can be very expensive to get dedicated servers or even a VPS with the needed memory on your local or server wherever it's hosted. So hopefully I'll help you out. Talk to you later.